The murder of a 12-year-old Wapaka County girl left lasting effects on the community. Now, nearly 24 years later, the family is sharing their story with the world. A documentary about the tragic death of Cora Jones is set to air this weekend on Investigation Discovery. NBC26's Juliana Falk also working on this story today, and she talked with their family. She was a happy-go-lucky girl, didn't get in trouble. She had her grandpa's luck at fishing. Every time she dropped a line in the water, could catch something. <laughs> On Labor Day weekend in 1994, the Jones family changed forever. Cora was at her grandma's house. And she kept calling and calling, and I just said, Cora, you know, I got to run to work, and then I'm going to come and get you and your brother. And Cora hopped on her bike and headed down the street. Her mom says she and her cousins used to always ride there. When Cora hadn't returned after a few hours, her grandma called her mom. Her parents say when they found out Cora hadn't returned home from her bike ride yet, they were worried her biggest fear could have come true, and the days and days of searching began. Cora had fear of being kidnapped, and she always talked about it. I, I don't know. I just instantly knew something was wrong. I thought just go down to the next bridge and wait for her because she's floating down the river on an inner tube. But then I got a lot more worrisome when I found out her bike wasn't right by the bridge. Hundreds came out to help the Jones search for Cora. Didn't sleep much. After dark, was, me and some of my friends would go out with spotlights, try to slow down the country roads. Six days later, the family got their answer 75 miles north when two men were driving by and felt like something wasn't right. Really deep ditch. In, in September, it's all covered with leaves. And unbelievable she was ever found. Authorities investigated for three months before David Spanbauer was charged with Cora's murder. Spanbauer, a serial rapist and multiple killer. The Jones family went to court with two other Northeast Wisconsin families whose daughters were killed by Spanbauer. Think you can ever forgive him? Nope. Not even gonna try. I think we'll just leave that up to God because it's not up to us. Because he didn't feel like he did anything. And I mean, the, our life has changed so much that it's like two separate lives we live before Cora and after. I mean, it's beyond what anybody can understand what it's like but to live without one of your kids, but to lose her the way she died. In Wapaka, Juliana Falk, NBC 26. Span Barrow was sentenced to three life terms in prison plus 400 years. He died in prison in 2002. Cora's story airs on Investigation Discovery this Sunday at 9 p.m.